Today we're going to learn about two important traits each screenwriter needs. Hi, my fellow screenwriting enthusiasts, it's Paul from Small Town Movie Critic. If you're new to the channel, we're all about helping you write that kick-ass screenplay by giving you tips, tools, inspiration, and of course, your favorite product reviews. If you feel this is the type of content that will be good for helping you with your screenwriting endeavors, please feel free to hit the subscribe button below. Now, as we do each and every week, I'd like to welcome all of our new subscribers. This week, I'd like to welcome uh, Tyler Wilson to the community, and I wish you luck and inspiration in your writing endeavors. I apologize for the extra uh, uh, noise tonight. I'm outside filming. Um, uh, fortunately, I can't be in where I normally film at tonight uh, just because uh, I have a couple people um, some, of, some of my kids are, are in a, a play right now and they're working on doing their lines and I don't want to disturb them and my wife is working on um, stuff for teaching school. So I apologize again for the noise. Now the two tra traits that I think every screenwriter needs, um, the first one is passion and the second one is determination. It's not easy writing. There are going to be a lot of roadblocks that pop up as we work on our scripts and learn how to get our work published and how to get jobs writing movies. Now, in the following interview, we hear about passion, about how passion and determination work through Ben Johnson Jr.'s journey in becoming a screenwriter. Um, I'm continuing our segment on Sagely Screenwriting, uh, uh, which is a continuation of my interview with uh, Ben Johnson Jr., which you can find right here. Um, he is a screenwriter from South Africa. Ben has written movies and for TV shows, and I will link his socials in the description uh, below as well as his IMDb. He has a ton of experience. He's a really hard worker and an all-around great guy. I'm grateful that he came uh, out to the channel for the interview. And today, um, I'm going to take a part of the interview uh, where Ben shares with us the story which really highlights these two characteristics that every screenwriter needs to be, which is to be successful, which is to, his passion and his determination. But, but I do uh, notice that I have several viewers that are from like uh, Australia, from India, from places okay. outside the United States as well, too. And so that's why I really wanted to interview you to see because you have a wonderful, I, I'm going to say you have a wonderful screen, screenwriting career. I, I just, I was just looking at some of your oh, IMDb you. stuff. Um, and thank I also, uh, just really have, have appreciated all your um, stuff on Twitter as well, too. And so I just thought um, uh, just to get a little bit more knowledge from you and, and just to, to share that with other folks, too, because, like I said, I think you have a very unique journey um, and one I think uh, that uh, will help a lot of uh, emerging screenwriters. So, hmm. no, it's a pleasure pleasure to, to, to help in any way I can or share any part of my journey. It's, I'm, 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 I'm very, very excited to have a conversation with you. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, so my first question is, how did you get interested in screenwriting? Okay, so um, for, for those who don't know, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm from South Africa. So uh, South Africa, we have a, a legacy of apartheid. So um, that, that coming from, from a community of color, it has a bearing. So in South Africa, um, for a large extent of our history, uh, we were very socially engineered, and what that what that means uh, in sort of a practical way is <clears throat> certain sectors of the community were steered through the educational system into specific kind of fields. Um, so there were a lot of things that were kind of outside your realm um, of opportunity. And uh, in in my particular community, um, we were steered towards artisans and teachers. So. My dad was a welder, my brother was a welder, uh, my, my brother's a panel beater, my mom was a teacher, my, my granny was a teacher, <clears throat> I was a teacher for some part of my, my, my career. Um, so, so, you know, I, I've always loved movies, I've always loved television, um, but not once uh, did I stop and think, you know, there's somebody kind of writing these things, getting paid to write them. You know, it, didn't, it wasn't like on the radar as, as a career. And then uh, probably about, I don't know, 14 years ago, I was sitting, I think, in a doctor's office and I picked up a, a local publication. And it was a, a kind of a, like a four-line article uh, offering a, a free film course at a local university. And uh, there, only, only 20 people could do the course out of our entire province, which is millions. I mean, in my city is about three and a half million people. So, you know, you, you had to write in some kind of motivating letter, then I'd choose 20 people. So I thought, well, what the heck? I knew nothing. Paul, when I tell you I knew nothing about film, I mean, I didn't know how to switch a, 
a video cam on, I knew nothing. So I thought, you know, let's just, let's just see what happens. So I applied and I got in as one of the 20. And we did this week-long course that took us through everything, um, you know, uh, camera work, lighting, directing, the whole thing, editing, using Final Cut Pro, the whole thing. I hated the whole lot. I hated it all, except for the writing. <laughs> that interested me, right? So uh, that course was being run in conjunction with the Durban Film Festival at that time. <clears throat> and they encouraged us from the course to go to the festival, learn more about films. I went along, never been to a film festival in my entire life. Um, got there and they were doing some workshops in, about careers in film. And I opted for the one um, about screenwriting. And it was about 10, 15 minutes into the, the lecture. And I was like, this is it. I, this is what I, I want to do with the rest of my life. I couldn't explain it. And, and it was late. I mean, like, you know, I had a family, I had four kids and a wife. And I, I was in the middle of doing whatever I was doing. But I, this is it. This is, I fell in love with it. And I came home from that uh, lecture, I came home to my wife and said, I want to be a screenwriter. And fortunately, I've got a really amazing wife, supportive wife, and said, honey, if that's really what you want to do, it's important that you do what you love because you've got to do it every day. So, you know, make a go of it. So um, this is, this is a, a, a slightly long story. So I hope, I hope this is okay, me telling you. Yeah, can yeah. I, can, 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 okay, okay. So, so I, I started writing like a crazy person, Paul. And I wrote my first script in about six weeks to eight weeks. The thing was done, you know. And then I, I got a job in a rural area. When I say rural, I mean, I went to go live on a cattle farm. And I went to go manage, you know, ended up working in a, in a hardware store. Um, and there, it, was, it was so remote that uh, there was nobody around us for miles. If you wanted any signal, you had to like lie in your bed on the side and hold your, your phone up at a particular angle, you know, like just to get an SMS out in, in, in those days. Um, but I still loved writing. So I'd come home from work and I'd write, you know, and the, the salary I was being paid wasn't enough. So I took on two more jobs um, and then I'd still write. I'd like right in the middle of the night till about three, four in the morning, get up, go to work. This is every day. And then my wife said to me one day, you know what? What about that script you wrote? You nev you've never done anything with that. So I made some inquiries and I found out that there was a, 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 a national organization called the National Film and Video Foundation. They were in Johannesburg. I was out in the farm in the Eastern Cape. Um, and they, they, they kind of helped people produce their films. They, they, they were the national body to kind of, you know, push the industry along. So I got on a bus, actually two buses, traveled 14 hours to Johannesburg, landed in Johannesburg, had no idea where I was. I promise I had no idea. By some miracle, I promise you it is a miracle, I landed up on the doorstep of the National Film and Video Foundation at six o'clock in the morning with this script in my hand, right? I sit there till like nine o'clock on the pavement and I'm waiting for um, the, the receptionist. She comes and she opens up. She hasn't even put her handbag like down and I'm in there in the office and I've got the script and I'm waving it in her face and said, I've written the script, you know, let's make this movie. And she's like, whoa, 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 just calm down. <laughs> That's not really how it works. You know? <laughs> so she was very gracious. She sat me down and, and said, okay, there's a whole application thing. So any long story short, I managed to get the application done and in, came back home to the farm and uh, never heard from them for about three months, kind of just forgot about it. And then I got an email and the email said, we've read your script. And number one, you have no idea what you're doing. Um, but we think, <laughs> we think you have some talent. So we'd like to offer you an opportunity to come and study and learn how to, how to, how to screenwrite. And of course, I, I jumped at the opportunity, which meant taking the same two buses, 14 hours to Johannesburg once a month for a weekend of workshops, intense workshops, coming home and writing running through three, three jobs a day. And I did this for a year. I would just do that. It was absolutely crazy. And, the, you know, I always tell the story and I always laugh at it because it's an out of body experience realizing like kind of what I went through because it was a tremendously uh, difficult time financially, emotionally, all of that. But the writing, I just, I just, I felt compelled to do it. So I'd, I'd write till the early hours of the morning, go to work, come back. That's how it was. And when I got to this course again, it was only 20 people, but this time in the whole of South Africa. And they invited me to be a part of this course. And the, the shock for me was that everybody else in that course, in that course 
had a history in the industry. So I was sitting there with people that had been script writing for television shows for 12 years, people that were uh, running television stations, people that were producers and directors. And so they went around introducing themselves and they got to me and I was like, well, I work in a hardware store and they were all kind of looking at me a bit funny, like, what are you doing here, you know? Um, so long story short, completed my year of training. Um, didn't know what to do with it, you know. Uh, I just kept writing. I did a lot of work for free for people, um, messed around. And then about three years later, um, I went to the, the Durban Film Festival again, just out of curiosity. You know? And um, I'm coming down the stairs of the hotel. They have it in a hotel on the beachfront. I'm coming down the stairs of the hotel on the last day. I mean, they're like taking stands down and packing stuff away. And I'm walking down the stairs. You know, I always tell people that... Um, if things are meant to be, they're meant to be, because I can't explain this any other way, right? And I'm walking down the stairs and this woman, there's a woman walking next to me. I'm not actually looking at her, but at the corner of my eye, and she's, she shouts at me, says, you the guy. And I'm like, huh? I turn around, she says, you the guy. Now what she's talking about is, on the, on, on the last, our final exam for the course that I did in Johannesburg was we had to pitch a, a story we had written over the course to a, a panel of real producers that worked in film and television here in South Africa. And it was the most terrifying thing I'd ever done because I'd never pitched in my life before. And all these other people were super prepared. And I have to tell you this, the entire course, there was a woman who was a, a station manager. And the entire year, she kept telling me, Why, what are you doing here? you can't write, you don't know what you're doing, you're useless, you like the entire year. And at this final pitch, she's sitting next to me and she's looking at my notes and my script. She says, jeepers guy, you've got no idea. It's like, and I was terrified. I was so terrified, my knees were shaking. And it just happened that I was the last person to pitch. I had to watch everybody else. And they had like presentations and I had nothing. I had like this little piece of paper that I'd torn out from somewhere. And I got up and I pitched, I started, I said the first line of my log line and I heard this voice, wow, now that's the story. And that is the first time in my life I believed I could actually write. Forward to the hotel walking down the stairs, the woman walking next to me is that producer. She was the one who said that. And she, that's why she said, I remember you said, you the guy with that great story what have you done with it and I said well ma'am I've been living on a farm like you know for years I, I haven't done anything she says give me your number I'll call you and I said well everybody says that to you but out of court courtesy I gave her my number lo and behold a week later she calls me and she says to me have you ever written for television I said I've never written for television I'm, I'm you know I'm just trying what I what I can do here I'm just hustling and she said would you like to I said boy would I like to you know but know that I don't know it doesn't matter she said, I really like you. I like your writing. Let me give you an opportunity. You need to be in Johannesburg tomorrow. So mad rush, threw some stuff into the bag, off to Johannesburg again. And that was my first television job, you know, like what, 12 years ago or whatever. And I haven't looked back. I've worked, I think I'm on my 16th show now, um, you know, and been through all the, all the ranks of, of, of writer, storyliner, script editor, um, now head writer, well, you know, been through the whole and moving on to producer. So it's been a long journey, um, and but I'm very grateful, Paul. I'm very, very grateful. But it was it was tough. It was tough at times. Wow, that that story could be a movie. I think you know Ben <laughs> could write that because I I think that would be a great movie. I'd watch that. So <laughs> yeah, uh, it's just amazing sometimes how. Um, uh, how things work out and stuff like that. So, mm. uh, and, yeah. Yeah. Like I said, that is just, that's just an awesome story. No, I'm serious. That, that is just like, wow. Um, and that's, like I said, I think that's, um, uh, I think that helps a lot of people. Cause I think so many people think, well, you know, I have to go to USC. I have to go to Stanford. You know, I have to do all these things and that's the only way I can get into the, into the movie business. And it's not, it's, it's, yeah. It's like yeah. what you said, you know, it's determination. It's, you yeah. know, just taking the breaks as you have them and just doing the best you can with them. So yeah. thank you again, Ben. Your story is an inspiration to each one of us. 
up and coming screenwriters. It reminds us that we need to tap into our passion and determination so that we're not distracted from our goal of being the next best screenwriter or the next big screener or just getting a screenwriting job. Now, do you have a screenwriter you'd like me to ask some questions to? Uh, what kind of questions would you like somebody, would you like me to ask somebody who's in the industry? Leave that in the comment section below. Now, my hope for you this week is that your writing is going well or your rewriting is going well. I hope you're able to carve out some time so you can work on that next kick-ass screenplay. Um, and if you haven't yet, you can look at our series that's going to go from idea to first draft. Um, we just started with the video last week and we should be continuing that. I'm hopefully going to start posting twice a week, and so I'm hoping to post, be posting that every Friday now. We'll see what happens. I can't promise anything, but I'm going to try to be doing a little bit more videos because we have a lot of content to get through. Um, and I'm also hopefully maybe, uh, it, depending how things work out, maybe even doing three times a week, one which is just product reviews in itself. I haven't forgotten some of those product reviews that people have been asking me for. It's on the back burner, but they're still there, and they'll be coming out shortly. So again, um, just to let you know, thank you for, for your screenwriting because only you can make that next blockbuster that will help people fall in love with storytelling like we do. So until the next video, keep writing and have a blessed day.